And we hear the Seatec. And hi, so who are you? Hi, my name is Ran Almog. I'm the general manager for Incredible Japan. So uh, here is uh, Incredible uh, Beyond Acceleration, dramatically accelerated performance of full range compilation development tools, short name development time. So what are you doing with the building? So what we do is we accelerate builds of usually developers that use C++ and these uh, um, developers, when they compile their code, sometimes this compilation takes many hours, especially if you come from gaming industries or IoT industries. What Incredible does is shortening this compilation time, sometimes by three, five, even ten times faster. So, um, there's some dots here. It says, and uh, are those your companies? Yes. The customers? There's a, oh, everybody. There's a big companies here. Yes. So you've been around for a while. The company exists since uh, 2002. It's an Israeli company, and our Japan office was opened in 2013. Uh, sorry, 16. Just three 16. years ago. But you already have Nintendo and uh, all these guys. They all like, um, for example, Nintendo. They make a game. It's huge. Right. And there's a lot of C++ in there. There's a lot of C++ and a lot of uh, image compression and all these processes they take a lot of time as you can see here in the field monitor this is incredible actually taking a lot of processes and do them in parallel and by doing it in parallel running on different computers different cores yeah, like, yeah. this process is really shortening the entire compilation uh, in a very short time this is process virtualization so you have some uh, you have some special trick going on here where you get in there, you take some, you split it up and you put it through a parallel process somehow? Exactly right. So we take, we take the compilation, we take this build of that developer and we distribute it across different machines on the network and they run in parallel on different machines, different cores. And this parallelization is actually the, the one trick that you were talking about that is Accelerating, accelerating the entire thing. So, um, do you do that in the cloud, or where do you do this? So initially, we started by doing it on the prem, on prem, using the computers that are in the network, mainly computers that are idle. So let's say that I'm a developer, and I have around me marketing people, and sometimes uh, maybe uh, finance people and not necessarily use their own computer all the time. So Incredibuild identified these computers and used their CPUs because their CPUs are mainly idle in order to accelerate <laughs> my development, my hard task on their machines, on their CPUs that are currently idle. Now, recently we took this on-prem solution and we also applied it to the cloud. And today we can uh, use uh, we have a full integration with Microsoft Azure. Microsoft and Incredible, they are in a very uh, tight partnership. And we can accelerate this build over the cloud using Azure Cloud today. So um, sometimes these software projects are very big, but companies get faster and faster internet. So if they have a thousand megabit or more or something, then it's totally doable in the cloud, right? Yeah, there is uh, less meaning, meaningful about the actual bandwidth. It's more about how many computers you have available that we can use in order to accelerate. The more computers, the more cores that you have available, the more we can accelerate your programming, your development. Um, do you help with stuff like uh, when people build uh, Linux or Android or something like that? Is that relevant? So we support Linux, we support Windows, any, um, any process that basically can run in parallel, we can take it and we can use our Incredible solution, our Incredible tool in order to accelerate it and make it faster. And 10 times faster? Even more, yes. You have dreams of doing 100 times faster? We do have dreams and um, we're working towards that. So. Um, is it possible that uh, stuff like this, where sometimes a developer is just changing a small part of the software, don't need to build the whole thing again, 
to resume just a small part of it. Does that exist? So that's, that's actually one of the bigger advantages of using Incredibuild because with Incredibuild, the developers found themselves that they can now run builds more often during the days as opposed to wait for the end of the day and run the build because it takes eight hours or 10 hours. With Incredibuild, because it takes maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes, they can run more often and then they can make small changes, run their build and continue programming, continue working on their software, which basically not only saving a lot of time, but making them much more efficient. Uh, there I'm checking stuff about, but it's maybe not related. It's more like when people uh, make apps uh, for Android, there's this new thing called Flutter, where they can see the instantly see the changes that they do. Uh, but that's totally different, right? That's uh, but, but when people make regular Android apps uh, or iOS apps, it takes a long time to build and then check. And then, do you help with that too, or no? Um, less today. Uh, we are more focused, not focused, but today, um, especially in Japan, the majority of our clients are coming from the gaming industries, because in gaming industries, as you can imagine, there are a lot of images and animations, and to process this kind of anima animations and images and shading and lightning, these processes take a lot of time. And we help them with accelerating these processes so they can actually run more builds per day. And if, for example, building an app is something that can, it's a, it's a long process that can run in parallel, then definitely a good credit bill can help with accelerating this process. Do you uh, build optimized uh, IC, uh, IC, ISICs or uh, FPGAs or anything like that? Or it's just running on Intel cores? Or would it make sense to run them on ARM cores in the cloud or something like that? What you do? Um, What's it, happening? Or is this a secret? Um, it's uh, not a secret, but it's uh, we run on any type of cores as long as these cores are based on in the same operating system that the initiator, the developer, is working on. So if I'm working on Linux, then I need to run my acceleration on a Linux helpers, Linux other machines. If it's Windows, then it has to be Windows all over uh, the, the exploration. So when we saw when I saw the list of your customers, they're all huge uh, multi-billion dollar companies. So that means your service is very expensive, or is it available for s small developers also? We have a freeware, a uh, free dev, which basically is a free version of Incredibuild. Any developer can download Incredibuild and use it for their own sake and for free. Once you want to grow into more machines, then we have. Uh, we build it by license. Uh, it's definitely not expensive and it can work for any small business, uh, small medium business company. And we also have uh, large deals for the larger companies. Nice. And here you're talking about some of the, this is the, 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 the presentation you have going on here for the Japanese market. You're telling them, hey, you need to, basically what you just said, right? Right, and we are basically part of Visual Studio. Visual Studio is the Microsoft uh, development tool. So Incredibly is part of these menus. And it's one of the only commercial companies that exist in Visual Studio today is Incredibly. Nice. Uh, we support Unity and we support Unreal uh, Engine. And this brochure is telling everything about it. So Microsoft is a big fan? Microsoft is a big partner and a big fan, yeah. Okay.